Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be caliente. Or in the blind forest. A very beautiful game. I played it before uh, when it came out. And uh, now that I'm going to start doing these gameplay videos, it was one of the first games that I said, you know, I could do a gameplay about this. Um, it's a 2D platformer. Um, very pretty game. Um, we're gonna start now. Uh, on this salad one. talking about he lost Ori in a storm the graphics um, amazing they're beautiful as you can see and the story as I remember it was um, very touchy and at the end a little twist when you finally get to understand um, the point of everything. Very, very pretty game. I believe here I play as um, this guy. I don't remember his name, but we're gonna find out. Um, this is where we are. Uh, the Swallows Net, Net or Nest. So I, I'm walking, I can jump with this big guy, um, as you can see, we see a feather, ah, oh, that turns into a warrior. This is a little guy. So Ori was adopted by Naru was her name. Um, I can move with Ori now. I can jump. What's back here? Nothing. I don't have any of the abilities yet. <clears throat> um, as you play along, you will gain the abilities. Uh, so we see the sunrise basically. Or oh, we just woke up. There is Naru taking care of things. Getting things to eat. She mopped it down. Does this mean that there's no more food in, in there? Or so here is I okay. So I'm walking and jumping with Naru. Okay, so we see there's a lot more food um, on these other trees. They're building a bridge. They got to build. <laughs> Some bridges to, to get to, to this food. This is where the cinematography of it and the story um, side of it begins to, you know, to get you in it, you know. So I'm walking back, um, basically carrying this food back to our place. Hopefully you can read what is what the voice is saying. So there's the first tree we saw. Uh oh. This is where it starts. So she's 
she took over inside. Waiting for something, but yet uh, hope never came. Uh, yep, yeah, I move with Naro now. Can't jump. I am not able to jump. So it's um, basically walking towards here. Did it go bad? Oh. So we saw um, fruits on those um, trees, but now there's nothing. Like, so the passage of time. Life withered and decayed. This is some intense stuff. Things are about to, to get caliente over here, man. Seems like the force became blind. That's what it means. Here we're going to probably experience the call to, to action. Something we we have to, there's something we have to do about this. Oh, you got some fruit. There's a, a little hope still, right? So I get to move back to our, uh-oh. Ghosts. Memories? Yes, it seems like memories. This is the bridge they built. This is intense stuff, man. So I'm going back to our hideout. There's some kind of spider looking thing. Oh man, more memories. It's getting darker and darker, man. This is insane. So I'm back in our lair. There's Naru. Probably hungry. Wait. Don't tell me she's dead. I don't remember well. I mentioned I played the game before, but I don't remember. Man. Dang. Uh, an orphan once more. This is it. This is where we gotta start doing something about this blind force situation. Seems like there was nothing else for Ori there, so we had to leave. Very sad. Um, searching for a light. Very weak. I have to move, okay. Still gotta move with Ori. Hmm. 
Very intense. Oh boy. Get up, Ori. That's no more strength. Come on, we can make it. Okay. So Ori died too, the last breath. <laughs> so let me see what I do. Just wait. a big tree oh the light of that tree revived Ori so he says okay we're gonna get into the gameplay now we got uh, those three green things down there uh, that's our life like every time I get hit one or half of one goes down so that's like our life meter well not like that is what it is um, it's telling me to jump I remember yes so yeah I can't jump the high yet as I mentioned before we're gonna get some abilities like double jump uh, mall jump uh what's the other one this one with an arrow um so we're gonna we're gonna get some some stuff going on so here let me see all right so basically this um yellow stuff is what fills up um my ability um thing so where where that zero is every time i get one of those is one ability that i can select in the menu when I get um, when I'm able to save the game uh, I will be getting blue like spirit um, I don't know what what they call it but we're gonna find out so right now my option is to get go down here as it says um, so I think if I remember correctly I have to go all the way to the back I don't have the uh, there's a spirit thing that I'm gonna be able to to shoot from there's a life cell yeah this one energy cell that's what they call it so with this I can save the game by holding B see and then I can get into there but I have to get the, um, the spirit thing first so I saved the game here I go. Oh my goodness, what is this? Oh, I remember. Okay, okay. He has to open the door for me, but in the process, he killed me. Alright. So now we know what we have to do here. So there's a door. He has to. Ah, uh, there we go. Simple as that. So this is spirit light, is what the yellow thing is called. So the more spirit light. I get the more abilities I get to unlock so this is really good I think there's some um, what's down here can I get down here and yeah, more spirit light perfect and it gave me one of those um, blue lights which I can use to save okay here we go press X to pick up the light
My strength is returning. I'm sane. Sane, sane, see the light in the eyes of the spirit tree. Um, this light is gonna help me like shoot stuff, shoot enemies, and do a whole bunch of things. Okay, so they gave me enemies right away. Um, I get to shoot them, you gotta avoid them. Or try at least. And that's how you get them. Okay. In the Glade Pass, the caverns, the caverns will find him. There's a path up ahead. Okay. Oh, so here's kind of like the map. Um, you have to find map stones in order to discover the maps, uh, unless you've been to that place. So this is where we've been so far. Just came down here, then there. So I pick up these things. There's an ability that allows me to... It acts like a magnet. Um, what is this? Oh, yeah. Just telling me to view the map. I can just hit select or back in this controller. Um, so there are map stones that you can find and place them on on, on those maps physically. Um, here's the south link. There's also another ability that allows me to save on top of somewhere that I've saved. So that's pretty neat. I can use, I can shoot stuff now. That's light, those green things. Life shard is what they call. There's another one, but I don't really need it, you know. Um, there is um, the the water is like purple. I can't get into the water yet. Uh, I should be able to get in there soon. Okay, so here's what they call a pool of something. Spirit wells. <laughs> so basically, if you're like dying or something or need, he just fills up everything and saves the, saves the game as well. I cannot get up there because I need more abilities. But as you, you know, go on. I have two abilities now. I can, you know, save the game and um, enter the sound link. So now that I have this power, I should be able to jump here. Yes, and then jump here. You know, simple things. And open this pathway. So I'm gonna save now and I'm gonna get in. I have two abilities. So the first one is rekindle, um, allows reusing soul links and insurance the cooldown timer. Uh, it requires one ability. So this first one's all acquire one abilities. It goes up from, from there to two, I believe to three at one point. So rekindle. Um, and quick flame is it just allows you to to shoot faster and more with the with the spirit thing. Um, so I'm gonna use rekindle and I'm gonna spend on the spirit magnet so that way when I kill an enemy the that light comes to me faster like like you know just attaches to me. I don't have to pass by it to pick it up. Alright. I'm gonna probably see it allows me to save without spending the life so um, we're gonna stop here this is gonna be the first part of Orient the Blind Forest um, stay tuned for the second part <laughs>